गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई यू ऑल डूइंग गुड आट ए होम आई यू ऑल स्टार्टिंग सो आई हैव अ वन रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम यू ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट प्लीज बी रेगुलर इन सेंडिंग द होमवर्क द वन हु विल सेंड होमवर्क ओनली दैट चाइल्ड अटेंडेंस विल बी मार्क्ड कीप दिस इन योर माइंड एंड बी रेगुलर एवरी टीचर एवरी टीचर गिव्स यू अ बिट ऑफ होमवर्क आई थिंक सो है ना ज़्यादा तो काम नहीं मिलता आपको बट फिर भी आप बहुत बहुत कम स्ट्रेंथ है जो बच्चे होमवर्क भेज रहे हैं सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल बी रेगुलर इन स्टडीज एंड कीप ऑन सेंडिंग योर होमवर्क टू द रिस्पेक्टिव टीचर्स मेल आई डी ओके सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ पोएम द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज द ब्रेवो लिटल काइट and it is composed by catherine pile okay and it is for class 4th and this is the lecture number 3rd of the chapter the brevo anu and it is from the book together with essence and it is very interesting poem and in the inspiring one also so let us begin with it so the topics which we are going to cover in this lecture is introduction of the poem fine explanation of the poem the brave little anu sorry the brave little kite brave means brave then homework then after the end i will discuss the homework solution that is the assignment which i gave you yesterday fine so let us start the brave little kite can you see a kite over here in the sky blue sky and it's trembling <coughs> and it's very excited thrilled with joy and happiness fine so let us see what is the introduction of the poem it is one of the most popular and, and the inspiring poem find the brave little kite it is also known as the brave little kite or the brave little kite it has been written by catherine pile so from where we took this poem who wrote this the poet of the, this poem is catherine pile who was an american poet artist and child children's writer so this poet is an american poet and he is an artist also and the children's writer also now see what is there in this poem have you ever seen a kite so through the sky and wondered how it must feel kya aapne kabhi patang dekhi hai hawa mein udti hui so it means fly sky mein aasman mein udti aapne kabhi socha hai ki usko kaisa feel hota hoga kaisa mehsoos hota hoga us patang ko udte hue and how can it fly so elegantly among the clouds aur wo kaise ud sakti hai itne acche way mein itne stylish manner mein clouds mein hai na clouds मैं वो कैसे उड़ सकती थी सुंदर तरीके से उड़ती है आप देखते हो पता उसको डर नहीं लगता क्या कि मैं गिर जाऊंगी कैसे उड़ती है वो सो दिस पोएम टेक अस टेक्स अस थ्रू व्हाट इट फील्स लाइक फॉर द लिटिल काइड बिफोर इट्स फर्स्ट एवर फ्लाइट तो ये पोएम में हम क्या सीखेंगे हमें पता चलेगा ये हम इसमें जानेंगे कि जब काइट पतंग है वो फर्स्ट टाइम कैसे उड़ती है और उसे कैसा फील होता है so let us start with the poem i'm going to explain you one one stanza and these are the few word meanings which will help you to understand the poem in a better manner to ye kuch aapke pe kya hai shabd arth hindi mein padhte ho na aap to isse kya hoga aapko poem bahut kavita puri kavita aapko bahut acche tarike se samajh aayegi pehle aapko in sab ko padhna hai ek baar okay fine you all need to read it once Now see the first word is nodded. Nodded means ऐसे नॉट करते हो सर झुकाते हो ना येस नो येस नो ऐसे ऐसे करते हो ना सर मूड है अप एंड डाउन टू शो द एग्रीमेंट हाँ या ना करने के लिए आप करते हो ना सर ऊपर नीचे नॉडेड फाइन ट्रैंकुल ट्रैंकुल मीन्स क्वाइट एंड पीसफुल बिल्कुल चुप शांत स्ट्रेट मूव Strid, move, trembling, shaking, hilna, reeling, moving quickly round and round. What they did? Gomna, gol, 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 gol. Frightened, afraid, dara hua. Steadily, gradually, in a regular manner. Fine, thrilled, extremely happy about something. बहुत बहुत खुश होना किसी चीज को लेके. 
Fine, so these are the words which will help you to understand the poem in a better way. Fine, so let us start with the poem. So this is the first stanza of the poem. Can you see there are many kites in the sky and there is a there are the students flying the kites. Now see the expression of the kites. Then only you will be able to understand the poem. You all have to look the pictures also. Fine. Now let us start. I can never do it. The little kite said. The chotiyo ni patang ne kya bola? Main kabi nahi kar sakti. As he looked around at the others high over his head. Jaise usne upar dekha. Ek choti si patang hai. उसने ऊपर देखा स्काई में आसमान में कि सब तो इतने मेरे से ऊपर ऊपर उड़ रहे हैं लेकिन मैं नहीं उड़ सकती आई नो इट शुड फॉल इफ आई ट्राई टू फ्लाई तो उसने बोला कि मैं अगर कोशिश भी करूंगी तो फिर भी मैं गिर जाऊंगी ट्राई सेट द बिग काइट ओनली ट्राई सो देर वॉज वन मोर काइट एक और पतंग थी वहां पे बड़ी वाली तो वो उसको एनकरेज कर रही थी हिम्मत दे रही थी कि नहीं तुम उड़ो एक बार कोशिश करो उड़ने की so <clears throat> or i fear you never will learn at all agar tum darogi so big kite was saying agar tumme dar hai tum darogi agar dar ke aage to jeet hai agar daroge to kabhi nahi sikhoge udna hai na but the little kite said to choti wali padang ne kya bola i am afraid i will fall this is the contraction i apostrophe m is i am afraid i will i apostrophe double l is i will फॉल नहीं तो लिटिल काइट ने बोला लेकिन मैं तो गिर जाऊंगी द बिग काइट नो डेट तो बड़ी वाली पतंग ने अपना सर ऐसे 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 नोट किया वेल गुड बाय सो द बिग काइट ने तो उसको बाय बाय बोल दिया तो स्काई में ऊपर चली गई आई एम ऑफ एंड ही रोज रोज इज द सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ राइज इट इज द पास्ट फॉर्म ऑफ राइज ही रोज टू वर्ड्स द ट्रैंकुल स्काई अब वो जो बड़ी वाली पतंग थी वो तो ऊपर उड़ गई बिल्कुल पीसफुल शांत आसमान में द लिटल काइट पेपर स्टेड एट द साइट और जो छोटी वाली पतंग थी उसका जो पेपर था वो तो बस इधर उधर मूव करता रहा बिल्कुल थोड़ा 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 द लिटल काइट एंड ट्रेमलिंग ही शूक हिमसेल्फ फ्री फॉर फ्लाइट फिर उसने बहुत शेक भी किया हिला डर भी लगा उनसे लेकिन फिर वो फ्री हो गया उड़ने के लिए आसमान में नाउ सी द फर्स्ट व्रिलिंग फर्स्ट व्रिलिंग एंड फ्राइटेंड वॉट यू मीन बाय व्रिलिंग आई एव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू मूविंग क्विकली राउंड एंड राउंड द लिटल काइट मूव राउंड एंड राउंड एंड फ्राइटेंड लेकिन उसे डर तो लग रहा था देन ब्रेव एंड ग्रॉन ब्रेव मीन्स बहादुर फिर उसमें बहादुरी आई और वो ऊपर उड़ गई ग्रॉन अब अब ही रोज थ्रू द एयर अलोन और हवा के द्वारा वह और ऊपर उड़ गए चल द बिग काइट लुकिंग डाउन कुड सी द लिटल वन राइजिंग स्टडीली अब इतने में जो छोटी वाली पतंग है वो बड़ी वाली पतंग वो नीचे देखती उसको देखने के लिए इतने में तो वो ऊपर ही उड़ गई स्टडीली मीन्स ग्रेजुअली फास्टली नी नेक्स्ट आंसर इज and how the little kite thrilled with pride ab dekho this is the little kite in a child's hand so how the little kite thrilled with pride ab dekho kitni khushi se kitni excitement se wo upar aasman mein ud rahi hai as he sailed with a big kite side by side so kiske sath ghoom rahi hai wo upar kiske sath ghoom rahi hai sail sailing the boat sails in the water the kite sails in the air so the little kite sails side by side with a big kite while far below he could see the ground ab to bahut upar ud gayi ki wo niche ground ko dekh hi nahi pa rahi hai and the boy is like small spots moving around ab niche dekho there is a boy there were many boys those who were flying kite they rested high in the quiet air fine so the kites there were many kites those who rested high but aram se apna upar ud rahi thi hawa mein and the only the birds and the clouds were there aur wahan pe kon kon present tha who were there in the sky you can see in the picture there are birds there are two birds fine so there were birds and the beautiful 
clouds are there right so i hope there were only four stanza in the poem i hope you all have understood it so what do you have to do it now you have to repeat this poem after me in a beautiful manner see by repeating the poem you will get to know the right pronunciation of the words जैसे जैसे आप पोएम बोलोगे तो आपको पता चलेगा कि हमें इन अक्षरों को कैसे बोलना है फाइन नाउ रिपीट इट आफ्टर मी आई कैन नेवर डू इट द लिटल काइट सेट आज ही लुक्ड अराउंड एट द अदर्स हाई ओवर हिज हेट आई नो आई शुड फॉल इफ आई ट्राई टू फ्लाई ट्राई सेट द लिटल काइट ओनली ट्राई नेक्स्ट इज or i fear you never will learn at all but the little kite said i am afraid i will fall the little kite nodded ah, well goodbye i am off and he rose towards the tranquil sky the little kite's paper stood at the side and trembling he shook himself free for fa- flight first thrilling and frightening then braver and strong up up he rose through the air alone till the big kite looking down could see the little one rising steadily and how the little kite thrilled with pride as he sailed with the big kite side by side while far below he could see the ground and the boys like small small spots moving around they rested high in the quiet air and only the birds and the clouds were there fine so this poem is written by who is the poet of this poem catherine pile fine this is a very interesting poem so can you tell me what message have you got from this poem आपको इस कविता से क्या क्या संदेश मिला क्या सीखा आपने क्या सीख मिली आपको इस कविता से सो देर वॉज अ लिटल काइट फाइन एंड देर वॉज अ बिग काइट ऑल्सो बट लिटल काइट वॉज अ फ्रेड टू फ्लाई हाई इन द एयर बिकॉज एवरी थिंग वॉज न्यू फॉर इट हर चीज तो नहीं थी उसके लिए सो बट द बिग काइट एनकरेज द लिटल काइट है ना बिग काइट ने क्या किया जो बड़ी वाली पतंग थी उसने छोटी वाली पतंग को साहस दिया हिम्मत दी है ना इनकरेज किया उसे नहीं कि तुम उड़ो अगर तुम उड़ना नहीं सीखोगे तो तुम कभी नहीं सीख पाओगे सो वट इज दिंग ओवर हेयर वी हैव लर्न दैट वॉट एवर न्यू इज इन आर लाइफ जो भी कुछ नया होता है हमारी जिंदगी में हमें उसे उसको सीखने की कोशिश करनी चाहिए वट हैपन्स इन योर क्लास यू कैन टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ योर क्लास ओनली in mathematics subject there are sums which are difficult and you are not able to understand you are not able to write the statement of the sums so what do you do there are many student they give up they think koi nahi na likh lengi ma'am fine they do like this na but that is wrong you should learn the new things you should learn the things then only you will be able to understand then only you will be able to do it then you want be get then you won't take help of anyone even you will do it yourself but try it again and again until you succeed there is a quote also na try and try until you succeed fine so what is the message conveyed by the poem let us see message conveyed by the poem is this is one of the largest inspiring poem it gives the strong message about the courage साहस हिम्मत के बारे में बता रही है हमें ये कविता इट टेल्स अस हाउ इट टेक्स इमेंस करेज इमेंस मीन्स टू मच टू ट्राई आउट थिंग्स है ना नई नई चीज़ों को सीखने के लिए हमें कितनी कितनी ज़्यादा और करेज चाहिए होती है कितना साहस चाहिए होता है कितनी हिम्मत चाहिए होती है और ये हमें कौन देता है हमारे पेरेंट्स एट होम आर पेरेंट्स एनकरेज टू डू न्यू थिंग्स फाइन एंड एट स्कूल आर टीचर्स एनकरेज As the little kite was afraid of taking off for the first flight, so जैसे आपने इस पोएम ने देखा एक छोटी वाली पतंग थी है ना वो तो बहुत डर रही थी उड़ने से सो so, उसको किसने इंकरेज किया किसने साहस दिया किसने हिम्मत दी बड़ी वाली पतंग ने 
we similarly are always worried about the change. तो हमारी लाइफ में जो भी चेंज आता है हम बहुत सोच समझ के चलते हैं बट वी हैव टू गिव वी हैव टू ग्रो एंड अबाउट द थिंग्स दैट आर न्यू टू अस सो आई होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस पोएम फाइन सो वट इज द मैसेज विच इज दिस पोएम हैज कन्वेट that we should always try and try until we succeed in our life we should never give up kabhi haar nahi maanni chahiye fine so this was all about the poem by catherine pan and it's a beautiful poem inspiring one so now what is the your homework learn the poem you have to learn this poem and write the new words only the new words do not write any word meaning just the new words and also learn them you have to also learn these new words write them in your fair notebook now we are going to discuss the homework solution of the previous lecture that is the assignment of chapter number 3 the real mother and the bravo anu this assignment i gave you so we are going to discuss the answers now so what was the first question who was the real mother and how the king find out what was the trick played by the king so any was the real mother of the baby king solomon found that out by playing a trick on both the women he asked the women to pull the baby from either side on hearing this any started crying and requested the king to give the baby to the sara fine understood this is the correct answer and next was why anu was hesitated to go to school because she has she had no friends kyunki uske koi dost nahi thi Anu felt awful. Why she felt awful when people made fun of her and laughed at her? उसको कब बुरा लगता था जब लोग उस पर हंसते थे और उसका मजाक उड़ाते थे. Anu's mother, what Anu what advice did Anu mother give her? So she advised her to be friendly with all at school. The why was king king was famous for what? The king Solomon was famous for his nobility and wisdom. Fine. and the next it was the question of true false finds so the first part is during games period on the first day anu was happy to go to school was she happy no she was not happy she was feeling awful she was depressed so it is false mana's behavior made anu cry no anu was the brave girl she never cried moreover she felt insulted use bura laga tha lekin wah roi nahi so it is again falls anu was good hockey player was she a good hockey player no she was a good swimmer that is again false the real mother of the baby was any yes true sara was punished at the end of the story yes true she was given the punishment by the king now these are few fill ups the king was famous for his nobility and wisdom right at the last the baby was given to any dash was mala's sister who was mala's sister man dash was dawdling over the breakfast dawdling means taking a long time to eat the breakfast who was she she was anu anu was feeling dash on the first day of the school she was feeling depressed now there are make sentences you can from frame your own sentences i have framed my own sentences fine but it should make a complete sense what are sentences it is a group of a word which makes a complete sense so the first word is awful awful means very bad feeling very bad i felt awful on the first day of the school nobility kulinta the king was famous for his nobility glad i was glad to hear about the surprise party fine so this is all about the poem i hope you all have understood so the homework which i have given you i request you again and again it's just a one or two page homework fine learn the poem by heart understand it the thing which you are not able to understand you can send by query fine so i request you again to send the homework be punctual in studies and keep on sending the homework on the mail id pooja arora dot acees at the rate gmail dot com 
and if you like the video you can subscribe it you can share it with your friends you can share it on instagram you can share it on facebook and you can even send it to your friends they will also get the help fine so that's it for today thank you